guys. I'm Tabitha. And I'm Brittany. And we are doing a Facebook and Instagram live. So we're going between two different screens. So. so on Facebook, we are in our New Year, New You Savvy with Savvy uh, class. And on Instagram, just on my Instagram, if you want to go to it, it's Gamut and Poise. Uh, and we're going, we're going live. So yeah it's really funny how everybody is like but can you just go live though like that's mm -hmm. how we want to learn so yeah we're going with the flow eh. we, we've got all of our favorite products in front of us and we're ready to talk skincare yeah, skincare eh. <laughs> i'm i'm kind of i don't have makeup on i feel naked right now and because i'll be doing her makeup so. <laughs> and if you're on instagram you're sideways and you're just gonna deal with it because that's the only way we could get both of us in so so just, there you go. Just turn that, just turn that phone yeah, around. You got letters in front of my face, but that's cool. It's all about to have this face here in a little while, so it'll be fun. <laughs> so it's 2018, and um, we were going to just chat a little bit about New Year's goals and um, what we're doing personally um, while some people hop on. Um, so for 2018, um, my husband and I are trying to eat better. Um, we, <laughs> we kind of lost all of that at the end of the year. We just, life got mm -hmm. too busy and we moved and everything. So we are, we're not necessarily follow, we're not Whole30, guys. Okay, we're not keto. We're not any of these fun things. Um, we're just trying to just eat Just real better. food. Just real food. Clean eating. Mm -hmm. So we've started that last week. It's been kind of fun. Yeah. So far, so good. We're kind of doing that, uh, not by choice, but that's okay. We have kind of had to uh, change our eating habits, um, but it's going to be good because we're going to be healthier in the end of it, so it'll be good. Um, but I choose a word for the year. Okay. I started this last year, and I decided this year I was going to do overcome for my word. Oh, that's a good word. Uh, I toss it up between a few different ones, and I overcome because and you know of course things are like thrown at you of course after you say that but just <laughs> overcoming fears and overcoming any obstacle uh that comes our way this year so that's really good yeah i haven't picked out a word yet but mm -hmm. i really like doing that i did that last year i actually can't oh um intention was my word last mm -hmm. year um being more intentional and things yeah. so i'm still contemplating on what mine will be but i still feel like 2018 is like a huge question mark like, I yeah. don't really know, like, the direction. Um, but we can all do little things. Um, the beginning of our year, the beginning of our months, um, to set our year right. So a lot of that is eating healthier. That's what mm -hmm. most people do. They head to the gym. I'm back. I'm back working out. Um, yeah. But what we're talking about tonight is um, kind of ditching some products and trying something new. So mm -hmm. new year, new you. Um beauty products, which yes. I was really excited to open up my month with this because um, I'm not a huge like beauty fanatic. I don't actually even watch YouTube tutorials or anything like that, but I wear makeup every day. <laughs> and I have a license in cosmetology, so what, why not start off the year with something yeah a little fun and different everyone i know wears makeup uh, all the ladies i know wear makeup every day and um it's just really important um when to stop and consider what you're actually putting on um just like we are trying to eat better and we want to eat more healthier organic foods without a lot of things in them mm -hmm. um we're going to talk to you all about how to do that with your beauty products your skin is the biggest organ that you have. So when we talk about putting healthier things in your body when you eat, why not put those healthier, more natural things on your body too? Because your skin is going to soak it up like that. And so skincare is kind of uh, the best way to best place to start. That's your best palette when you want your makeup to look better, all that you need to have good skincare um, routines. So. Uh, you kind of just want to get ditch those toxins in every aspect of your life as much Absolutely. as you can because I mean we are human and we have a balance of toxin free mm -hmm. living but also things that aren't good for us so well just like um, we're all aware that when we eat foods that are full of chemicals they're full of GMOs they're full of um, colorants and all kinds of nasty things that are get pumped into our animals and our food. Mm -hmm. um, and we know that that has an effect on how we feel. Mm -hmm. um, when we eat like crap, we feel like crap. That happens a lot. And so our beauty products are the same. 
um, our skin is going to react to what we're putting on our bodies. Um, and the beauty industry is very similar to the food industry in the fact that there's a lot of closed doors and um, there's not a lot of regulation mm -hmm. and it's really driven by people who high up who want to make lots of money. How can we get that money fast, fast, and faster? I feel like is what they do and any way they can do it, they do it. And I really feel like a lot of these um, big companies are stuck in the 50s. They're still pumping our hair products and everything with just gunk. Um, and we're ready to bring them into the new ages and try something new. 2018 people. Yes, we don't, it together. we don't need all that stuff in mm -hmm. our, and I mean, and it's crazy because the, the average woman can put on around up to 300 chemicals on their body every By like single morning. 8 a.m. By 8 a.m. Um, we use what I think it's like over 100, around 80 products every day. I'm trying every single thing from your eyeshadow to your, um, the stuff you do use your nails with, your hair products, your lotions, all of that adds up. It's a little lesser for men because they don't mm -hmm. use as much as we do. Um, and that's just scary because, especially as women, women, we have to really be careful with our skin and our hormones and a lot mm -hmm. of these toxic products that are in the beauty products they're effing our hormones up <laughs> <laughs> they are they're messing up with our our hormones our endocrine system the lymphatic sense system um, a lot of these things just get in there and just really wreak havoc on our moods mm -hmm. um, which affect our emotions and I mean we're oh. women we're full of emotions but mm -hmm. we don't need anything else messing them up no. I mean, come on. Um, our skin, it can mess with that. Fertility issues and a lot of these um, a lot of these chemicals are known to cause cancer. They're known carcinog carcinogens. Um, they, they're known to cause migraines and headaches and food sensitivities. Um, it's just really crazy all the things that we're allowing in our home, I guess. Yeah. But there's there's a way. There's out a way of out of it. <laughs> yeah. And we are going to share with that with yeah, you. Yeah, that's what we're going to talk about. We're also going to do a fun tutorial, so be sure you stay on our live because I will be applying some makeup to dab with that and giving you a few tips and tricks on what, uh, how to color match, how to do your brows, all of that. So make sure you stay tuned for that. That's going to be lots of fun. Mm -hmm. So first, um, we are going to talk about Young Living's um, skincare line. Um, Young Living is known to be an essential oil company, but we're more than that. Mm -hmm. um, we are a full circle wellness company. Um, mm -hmm. We have everything from your essential oils um, to your makeup now. So I love all of our essential Literally, oils. Literally like head to toe. Literally head to toe. We've got you. We've got you covered. And we love that because we've come to love Young Living's um, Seed to Seal Promise and mm -hmm. their quality that they have for their essential oils and their other home lines. And it was really exciting to see that cross over to um, the Savvy Minerals makeup mm -hmm. line. Um, so we trust it highly. Yes, there's no back doors. They are, you know, back rooms. Um, they or back doors. Or back doors. I don't know why I said that. But, uh, but there's no back rooms. Like, they're very transparent through everything that they make. So you've got a question, email them, call them. They will, they'll talk to you about it. And I love that about their products. So I'm excited that they finally came out with a makeup line, mm -hmm. too. I'm pumped about it. So for our skincare, one of my favorite things about all of these products is that they're all infused with Young Living essential oils. So when you ask a lot, what is the difference between this really, you know, clean cleanser and mm -hmm. something I'll find um, at Rainbow Blossom or something? Well, we have Young Living essential oils in ours, and so we get those therapeutic benefits um, from a company we trust, and you're not going to get that in anything else. Mm -hmm. um, so first, I want to talk about our art line, this beautiful little box. Ooh, it's shiny. Um, ART stands for Age Refining Technology. I found that out yesterday. <laughs> I just I didn't know that. I just thought it was a pretty little art. Fancy name. So this is the trio, and you can buy these separately, but this is what has changed the game for me. Um, and I've passed around my skincare routine video to some people because a lot of people ask me all the time what I use. Um, but I was definitely one of those people who I lived at Walgreens, I lived at Ulta, and I tried all the things, mm -hmm. all the exfoliators, all the acids, all the cleansers, everything to try to get my skin under control. And I just, I stripped my skin of everything. Um, it got really dry, I had lots of breakouts, mm -hmm. scarring, all the things. 
So I was, you know, I was just trying desperately to find something. So I started oil cleansing. So I, um, which if you're curious of what that is, go ahead and Google oil cleansing. Um, I use a mixture of rosehip oil and jojoba um, to cleanse and take my makeup off at night. And I still love doing that, but it just kind of introduced me into, um, hey, what is, I, I need more. My skin needs like actual nutrients and it needs some help as I get older, especially. Um, so I really was, you know, excited to try some products, but I have very sensitive skin. Same. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Same. I can't even put lavender on my face and it breaks out. Yeah. Um, we, and lavender is one that like most people can use on everything. I yeah. cannot. So it's like we, my feet maybe and that's it. <laughs> we both have very <laughs> sensitive skin. Like mm -hmm. we're like very, we're very yeah. similar in that. So when I um, started trying Young Living's Art Line, I did one product at a time. I introduced it very slowly and got used to one before I added another. So don't think that I went and got all of these and tried it in one day and it was amazing. Mm -hmm. um, this was, I built up this over a year probably. Um, hi, Teresa. Um, so the first is the Gentle Art Cleanser. And these are all taped up because this is brand new box, but I'm gonna rip these open. Um, Use your muscles. Uh, so this one has frankincense, sandalwood, melissa, lemon, and lavender in it. Um, and it is what it says. It's a gentle cleanser. Mm. Um, Good for sensitive skin. Really great for sensitive skin. Here's the bottle. And it has a foam pump top. Mm. So what I like to do when I travel or I if I... don't know why it, mm, 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 I, I like, like that. that. Well, it foams. Like it's a nice... And I can you can use it with a face, face cloth if you want. But I have these little empty um, one ounce pumps that I use for traveling so I don't take this whole thing okay, um, so you can just fill it up and I also end up giving it out to people <laughs> mm -hmm. um, I love it but it's just yeah it does a great job at being gentle but doing its job um, and that is the cleanse side so we also have because when you when you're starting with your base right you're, you're trying to get that beautiful clean palette you need to focus on cleansing exfoliating and toning mm -hmm restoring and moisturizing. moisturizing. Even if you have oily skin, moisturizer is the way to go. I mean, just find a moisturizer that works best for your skin. Um, and the, you know, we can, we have DIY options and we also have the art line, but yeah. uh, moisturize, moisturize, moisturize. It's so good for your skin. So the, I'm trying to make sure I find, yeah, I have all my, okay. So we did the cleanser. And so then step two is the toner. Let me find it. Here it is. All the bucks. Yeah. This smells so good, first of all. Oh my gosh. It smells smell it? amazing. Yes. Okay. It has sandalwood, peppermint, frankincense, lemon, and lavender in it. It also has Melissa Leaf, Ooh. aloe vera, witch hazel in it. Um, I use a little bit on like an organic cotton cloth um, when I get out of the shower and I go all over. I also use it on my body too. So, yeah. side, note, side note, when you are um, cleansing, you want to make sure that you're cleansing your decollete and also your neck because um, a lot of people skip out on that and so their face is going to look fabulous, but then like their neck gets wrinkles oh, yes. and all that. You want to make sure you're cleansing and moisturizing and putting the mask on there as well. Just a little... So smart. Yeah, just a little side tip there for you. Make sure you do that. Anyway, go ahead. So the toner is gonna remove any impurities that were left over from the cleanser or the, your day or whatever you choose to use it um, without drying your skin. Um, so, which is what I love. <laughs> Just knocked everything over. Um, most toners that I've used, that's what they do. I feel like my skin is like super dry, dry. and cracky and I'm like, I don't like this feeling. I've never really found a toner that I love. So well, I'll have to give that a shot. Try it so, out. I, yeah, the Art Toner really doesn't dry out your skin, um, which it, and again, it's very gentle. I think it was, it was the last thing I ended up adding because I was afraid, um, but when I did, like, I really started to see difference in my skin with that toner. Um, another thing I do while I'm in the shower, and this isn't in the trio, but it's one of Young Living's products. It's the Satin Mint Scrub, and I'm going to pull some of this out just so you can see it. Um, I again it's just like a little that's all you need a little pea size and a little baby squirt I mean there's barely when you rub it like it's not like those big gunky um nasty marble heavy. things that mm -hmm. they put in most exfoliators it's very very see, I think you Fine. can kind of see some of the sand it's not sand but it feels like sand mm -hmm. um it has peppermint in it and oh mm. my 
gosh. So nice. It is so nice. I use that about once a week. Mm -hmm. Is kind of how I That's exfoliate. That's what I was going to recommend is doing it like once a week. So you don't want to overdo it with your skin, you know. Once a week will be perfect. It has Roman chamomile and rosemary in it as well. Um, it's designed for normal skin. It cleans, nourishes, and stimulates without damaging the skin's pH balance, which is what I love. Um, it is full of antioxidant vitamins and botanicals. Mm -hmm. And that just sounds, it sounds nice. I know. Yeah, it sounds so nice. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, and lastly, moisturizing. So this is the Art Light Moisturizer. Um, little skinny guy, and most people are like, that is tiny, and I'm not going to spend money on that. It's got this little pump. You only need the tiniest bit, a pea size. And this will last me about three months. The thing with good products, like well-made products, is a little goes a long way. That's something that I have learned throughout the years and throughout like using Young Living's products is a little goes a long way. So you you might be spending more, but you will have it a lot longer than you'll have some of the cheaper products. Mm -hmm. And it's going to do so much wonders for your skin. Thank you. That's great. Yeah. No, I love that. Mm -hmm. um, so your Art Light Moisturizer is going to help reduce appearances of fine lines while supporting your skin's elasticity. We all need that. We all need that, especially down here. I yeah. do. I have to remember. Sometimes I'll do another pump just to really mm -hmm. get the the skin down here. Turning 30 this year, I uh, could uh, see a little the sagging starting <laughs> and the wrinkles like on my neck. I'm like, oh, God, oh, no. I need to remember to moisturize that baby. Get that area, too. That's, mm -hmm. part, of, that's part of your face. Yes. Um, so there is an art um, um, intensive moisturizer. I don't have it yet. It's on its way for like the winter time. So I'm excited yeah. to try that. Um, and then one of my other favorites that I use maybe maybe once a month. I know some people do this once a week. Um, it's the art cream mask. Now this is like go to the spa. spa night. Yes. This have is a girls' stuff. night. Spa night. Again, will last me forever. I I just use like two swipes of that, and smell that first of all. Ooh, I know, right? I can really smell good. like the rose in there. Mm -hmm. Um, so this is a cream mask. You leave it on from fifteen to fifteen to thirty minutes. You just put like a little bit all over, and oh, it smells. You heavenly. like when you wipe off the excess, it's like baby skin. Um, I decided I needed that in my life. I was like, I deserve that. I really do. Um, it cleanses, softens, moisturizes, and protects your skin. But I love this because it has um, Roman chamomile, ylang ylang, geranium, jasmine in it. Mm -hmm. So that's that like really sweet scent. Um, yeah. yeah, but it's, it's not so overbearing. Like that's the kind of that's nice about it. It's just very, mm -hmm. very subtle. So the last product, and then we're going to talk about other things. The last art product that ties into our savvy stuff is the art renewal serum um this oh my gosh it has orchid extract in it Ooh. and it's you can smell like oh my gosh yeah i'm telling you it's amazing mm -hmm. so this, i wish you could smell i know we say this with every live but you sh i wish you could smell with like every so every video it has a so blend of exotic orchid petals and essential oils to help protect revitalize your skin um, it also firms and tones. Um, again, it feels amazing on your skin. But this is what is recommended and what I use as a primer before you put on your savvy makeup. Um, it's a little... I don't know another word to say this. It's a little tacky, I guess. So, like, mm. um, when you put it on, not only is it creating a really great base, but it's creating a foundation that when you put your foundation on... Yeah, like it a ha primer. Yeah, it has something mm -hmm. to stick to, mm -hmm. if that makes sense. So as soon as you put it on, it doesn't fall off. Um, yeah. And some of the things that I use, uh, I have not used the art line just yet. I kind of, I'm a DIYer all around. I like to use my oils, which just straight oils. And um, I haven't, I want to dip into the art line because it smells amazing. But oh, so we have oil. We have oils, and so um, I use, I've used a mixture of things. Um, you can do like the cleansing, what you had talked about, like cleaning mm -hmm. with oil. So you could use Melrose and frankincense with co uh, coconut or jojoba oil, and that's a great moisturizer and cleanser at the same time. Mm -hmm. I use Melrose all over every yes. night. Mm -hmm. uh, and we know, I, I, we just said we were sensitive skin, but Melrose. We can somehow use Melrose it on does our face. wonderful. Yeah. Uh, it's crazy. And then sometimes I'll use frankincense alone. Um, and I read once that fennel helps uh, decrease pore sizes. So 
I could not use it. I don't think I can use it in the winter time because my skin gets a little bit mm. too sensitive and too dry. But um, try to maybe try fennel on your face with coconut or jojoba, jojoba oil. Jojoba, jojoba. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and then what else do I, have I used? I think that's it. And then I've tried lavender, but we already talked about that. I can't <laughs> do that. So. Um, some I'm people bitter. use tea tree as a spot treatment. Oh yeah, I forgot um, about when that. I needed. That. Um, I can do that as well. You can mm-hmm. dilute it if it's a little intense um, or you can try lavender and frankincense mm-hmm. as a spot treatment um, and then frankincense is great at reducing aging lines and aging circles so you can make a serum to apply around your eyes um, I had some recipes I wanted to share with you all that I think you would love um, there is a wrinkle roller which needs to be renamed because it's not yeah. giving you wrinkles yeah it's taking uh, them away <laughs> So, Wrinkle reducer yeah. roller. So you take a roller like this. This is a 10 mil. And we call it a roller because it actually has a roller top on it. And just swipe it, it off. Hi, Tony. Um, and then you put 20 drops of frankincense and 10 drops of lavender and then fill it up with grapeseed oil. And then roll this on your wrinkles like before you go to bed at night. Um, and then you can also make... Um, an eyelash serum. So one of the big mm. craves right now, bigger, thicker eyelashes. Um, and I don't even know what some of those mascara tubes have in them. You could also probably use it for your brows if you're wanting your, yes. your brows to get a little more intensified. I feel like that might be a good way. Mm-hmm. You could put it on your brows too because big brows, big lashes are in right all now. In. Give me a m- so. All. If you, all you have to do, you can get them on Amazon, is you just buy like an empty mascara tube. They're clear. And I think the recipe I have is just five drops of lavender and five drops of cedar wood. So cedar wood does help promote healthy um, hair growth. Um, and lavender um, is really good for hair, skin, and nails. Um, and so you put that and you can use grape seeds. Some people use castor oil for the benefits of that. And you just put it on like mascara every night. Um, and watch the magic happen. Just saying. Mm-hmm. It happens. Um, and then I had another one. There's an under eye roller um, for which I I should start using. I do have like an under eye dark thing happening, but puffiness, stuff like puffiness, that. Puffiness, redness. <laughs> yeah. Mine are darker. Mine are puffy and dark and Terrible. So you can use um, 15 drops frankincense, lavender, and then like five drops lemon, um, and fill that up with grape seed and roll that on your under eyes um, so before bed. Playing as well. devil's advocate, would mm-hmm. you put it in the roller bottle like this as well? Yes. Okay. Yes. Um, be and careful with the lemon. Lemon can cause photosensitivity. Um, so wear it at night, basically. Mm-hmm. Don't like pour lemon on your face and then walk outside. Bask in the sun. You'll be really red. <laughs> really red. So mm-hmm. yeah. But essential oils, like they're infused in these products that we talked about, but um, really easy. Patchouli is another one people like to use on their skin. Mm-hmm. Um, Royal, Hawaii, um, Royal Hawaiian sandalwood, this is a sandalwood mm. that Young Living has, is in almost all of these products. It's amazing to put if you want to do your own beauty serum um, to just coat all over at night. Now Young Living does have, um, we have a Boswellian wrinkle cream and we have a Wolfberry eye cream. So if you're into, I know those are another big thing that mm-hmm. are on the shelves are all of the under eyes and the wrinkle creams and yes. things. And Young Living, we have those. So I don't have them. I'm just saying. Hi, Allison. Hello. Um, but I will say like the Wolfberry eye cream is a really good example. It has patchouli and myrrh and bergamot and tea tree and rose in it. Um, but it's full of olive oil, rosehip oil, sweet almond oil, jojoba, mango, shea butter, which it's just full of green it. tea extract. <laughs> which um, is great. Green uh, tea extract is great for uh, reducing puffiness. So that um, so great for the dark circles, the yes. puffiness. T- it helps tighten the skin. Mm-hmm. Um, so that is a really popular one. Um, and then we have a rose ointment and these are just extra things now I use this all the time this is what it looks like it's a little scary um, this is like a little orange. it's a salve basically mm-hmm. so I use this on like my cuticles oh, that's really I rub it in my cuticles or the back of my hands especially when they get really dry um, or I will put them on my under eyes as well um, if I want to work on my circles so there are that's, so many options. Yes, and that's a good thing is they're so versatile. Like, 
you make your own, you buy it if you don't want to make it. And um, so many good things with their skincare. Absolutely. So next. So we're going to talk about Savvy. Savvy Minerals. So Savvy Minerals. Da, da, da. We got music going in our heads. Yeah. I'm with you. I'm okay. like, I'm Thank there. You. <laughs> um, Savvy Minerals was created um, by a lady who was a Young Living member, and she had been searching far and wide for a makeup line that she could trust, um, that she actually liked the ingredients. And so she couldn't find it, so she decided to create her own. Why not, right? So she created Savvy Minerals. It wasn't called Savvy Minerals. It was Sweet Savvy, I believe is what it was called. And she worked really hard at formulating it and started using it. Um, but she was just her. And you, you know, starting a new business is hard. But she really wanted to be able to pro provide this makeup for everyone. And so Young Living ended up coming aside her and acquired her makeup line. And now it is Savvy Minerals by Young Living. And they have changed some of the products um, that was not even up to their standards. Um, they're still working on our mascara. Now mascara is one of the most toxic things we put near our eyeballs. Yes. I mean, come on. And um, Young Living is having a hard time trying to find the perfect formula. So we don't have our mascara yet, but we will. And it's gonna be fantastic. Um, so and until then, you can put a drop of lavender in your mascara to kind of promote healthy Eyelashes. eyelashes. Yes. Yeah. Perfect. That was yeah. compliant. Yeah. Um, so we're excited to have Savvy. Um, it launched in June of last year. So our line is not huge, but it has everything you really need. Um, and that's a great thing uh, w with working with different makeup lines. Like you don't want to put it all out there all at first. I mean, it takes time to perfect the makeup and perfect what they're putting out there because they don't want to have to scale back and mm -hmm. you know they want people to love what they have so so there's no disappointments so savvy minerals i'm gonna tell you all i had a can i had a thing maybe i don't have it out here is this the thing no it's it's not the thing i'll okay. just i'll just list it okay i'm gonna tell you all the things that are not in savvy minerals makeup oh okay i have some of those and it's on the front of your page yes I think. I would type it all here oh okay okay so it doesn't have talc. Get ourselves together excuse it us. doesn't have talc mm -hmm. which I'm not gonna lie, a lot of um, other makeup lines out there that claim to be toxin-free have talc in them. So, toss it. To yeah, toss it. Um, it doesn't have bismuth, it doesn't have mineral oil, parabens, it's gluten-free, it has no nanoparticles, it has no, how do we decide to say it? Phthalates? Phthalates. 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 It has no dyes, no petrochemicals, that's really important to me. Yes, it is. And it has a no synthetic fragrances and no synthetic colorants. And no heavy metals in there. There's none, which I think is important. And for all you animal lovers out there, it is not tested on animals. Not this tested is, on animals. Yes, so that's a, a huge, huge thing. So, young, uh, young living. Savvy, um, this is a mineral, mi you know, mineral see shaky shaky um so but it's lasted a really long time so i wanted to talk about that before Brittany started um i've had this one here i want to show each camera let me get it level see it's kind of low i have been using this fully since september of last year so that is four five, going on five months that i've been using this and i still i can get another month out of this for sure um that's a long time I'm just yeah, going to go ahead and say that's huge. Um, and that's, I use, I think I apply heavy, I guess. Some people, if you're just doing a five minute face every day, that's going to last you even longer. Mm -hmm. um, so this is going to, and the shadows. Oh my goodness. Let's show the shadow. Yeah. This is the eyeshadow. And this is going to last me forever. Because you only, it, you mean, don't need a lot of colors oh, oh go gosh. on and on yeah, and on. Um, Brittany's going to show you some of those mm -hmm. colors. Um, we have 10 foundations ranging. Um, we have three different cool tones, three different warm tones, and four dark tones. Can you get the little piece of paper on the bottom? Just so I can kind of show them a little... Yeah, so these are all of the foundations that we have, and they're buildable upon each other, so if one doesn't work, two of them together will work. Mm -hmm. um, we have um, 
yeah so it minimizes pore appearance it brightens your complexion absorbs any excess oils that kind of thing um, we have 10 eyeshadows which is awesome and we have two bronzers which you can use as a bronzer or some people use them as contouring with three blushes four lip glosses five lipsticks um, we have an, um, an eyeliner and a multitasker, so we have black and brown. Um, and then we have the misting spray, which we will talk about in just a moment. And then we have brushes. So we're using my brushes that I've just had. Um, I don't have really, I think I only have one Savvy brush. Um, Ta-da! It's really pretty, actually. This mm -hmm. is their eyeliner brush. They're made really well, too. And it has... Um, do this is what the makeup artists do um, and it has like the, the pointy one and it has the angled one just so you can see just so you can see the angles. I just that's what they do you know um, <laughs> they're really nice brushes um, you can get a brush set with like the the blush brush the, blush, blush the foundation Say that five times fast. the contouring one um, blending brush that kind of thing and then we have um, like concealer and other mm -hmm. stuff so we have all the all, all the, the brushes, brushes brushes that you I can't that all just, the blushes all are shoot <laughs> all the brushes all right show okay. them how to color match or okay. something so tension off of me yeah so I'm gonna start with applying Tabitha's makeup so while I'm doing this please feel free to ask questions it might take us a minute because I'm applying maybe you can kind of look out yeah for I can still see them. Um, but we're so color matching is the first thing that we're gonna do so the best place to color match is between now there's a lot of people that will give you different ways and places to match some people do it here on or inside the wrist that's lipstick uh, <laughs> all the like you can check um, the skin here is closest to your lip color or lip, oh. your natural lip color by the way so cool. uh, if you want to check lipstick but don't want to put it on your mouth just check it right here by your thumb uh, but some people do it on their arms to cover their veins, but I like to personally do it um, between here. So you're going to do it your jawline and in between your neck because that's this color here does not get sun nearly as much as what your face will or your neck or, or chest will get. So this kind of gets a little bit lighter. So you want to do something a little in between so your face won't be too light, but then your neck won't be too dark. You just gotta Isn't that the struggle, ladies? It's a balance. <laughs> Matching you your face the to the rest of your body, even yes. though it's not the same color yeah. as the rest of your body. It's because the sun doesn't. I had a school ID made one year, side, <laughs> side story, and when I got it, it was from the summer, so my face was really tan, and then this right here oh. was like super white. It oh was really gosh. embarrassing. <laughs> I didn't apply my makeup on. But I managed to, I tried a couple, but I color matched myself Sorry. to be a warm two. <laughs> Yes. And um, I don't have that line. It blends really, really well. Mm -hmm. And I try to go down past the jawline. That is, and that was my next thing. When you're applying foundation, you want to um, kind of dust it down through your neck so it blends a lot better. Like I said, they're two different colors. Not always for people, but mostly. All right, so this is foundation. We're going to add the foundation and make sure this is warm. That's one. The yeah. two's down there. Mm-hmm. I also use Warm One a lot, um, so that would kind of be like a winter thing too, but I haven't really lightened that much, to be honest. I didn't really get tan. <laughs> and with foundations, you can do, because some people like to contour with bronzer and some people don't. It just depends on your skin type and if your skin can handle it. Um, so you can contour with foundation. So you can get a darker foundation to contour with. Mm -hmm. So, But we're not, you know, we're just going to do, I'm not contouring Let's, today. I want to tell them about the misting spray while you do that. All right, so what I am doing, since it's a loose powder mineral makeup, there are mineral mm -hmm. makeups out there that are um, pressed. I cannot talk. And so what I'm doing is I just kind of tap this a little bit and put it, I'm trying to let the other camera see it, <laughs> and just kind of tap it in the lid. And then what you're going to do is do a little swirl, swirl, tap. And then I know you were about to talk about the misting spray, but I was going to talk about another like little hack that okay, you could do. Go ahead. So another way that you can do, and to make the foundation a little bit more opaque, is spray the brush. Um, you can do that probably before you put the foundation on it. So I'm going to do it over here. So I don't... <laughs> and then you apply. And another tip when you're applying 
is you want to go with the way the skin is going down, like your hair on your face. You want to go down instead of up because then you're going to get a little bit more coverage and it's going to look smoother. I didn't know that. Yeah, so you kind I've of I've been doing it wrong all along. <laughs> so you just kind of brush down and you kind of tap too. And uh, when you have shorter bristles, you'll get more pigment. And then if you have longer bristles, you'll get less pigment on the face eyeshadow. So the misting spray um, is formulated to help your foundation um, really build upon itself as well and last longer. Um, sorry, I'm gonna look over here guys while I talk. Um, it's full of essential oils as well. It's not like a finisher where you like spritz it once everything's done. Um, now I spray my brush every time, like often, um, just cause I like a lot of coverage, but um, you can do it throughout. Sorry. No, it's okay. That's fine, I'm just gonna look over here. Um, but like you can use the misting spray on your eyeshadow brush and it will give it like a wet look, like a foiled look. Um, or you can leave, you can do it without it and um, it's a, like a lighter color. Does that make sense? Am I saying mm -hmm. things right? Yep. Okay, cool. <laughs> Slow look to the camera. <laughs> You're so gentle. I'm like way more like, God, get it on. I, I also beat somebody up. I also try to on. like, like really like only take five minutes to put my makeup on. So I'm like really aggressive. <laughs> well, you know, we're kind of showing people how to apply yes, makeup. I know. So I'm just hashtag real life, y'all. <laughs> oh my goodness. I also love. Um, so we don't have like a concealer per se. Um, but I use, um, the lighter, I use the warm one as my concealer, um, and you can get it wet or you can use a sponge or your finger, however you want to do it and kind of tap it and, or use like a littler brush and you can do your eyes that way or any areas that need it. Um, I did that before we went live because you know, you don't want to go on. I don't want to do the whole thing without any kind of concealer. I mean, really. <laughs> It already looks, I already look not red. That's great. The one thing I really like, um, working with different makeup lines, uh, I've noticed though with Savvy, like it photographs really well. It's beautiful on. Yeah. So, um, like yeah. it just looks very smooth. Mm-hmm. All right, I, so I am going to add a little more concealer. Can we show them what you're doing here? Yes. So this is the warm one. Mm-hmm. And she tapped it in the lid and she got it wet. Uh, I sprayed it. <laughs> That's yeah, that makes more sense. Sorry. <laughs> Should let you talk. I won't talk. <laughs> I sprayed it with the setting spray or it's not setting spray, but the misting spray. The misting spray. It smells really good too. And again, I was really concerned about it because it has essential oils in it. And I was like, I don't know how my skin's gonna react to this, but um I handled it really, really well. Um, I know one thing we forgot to do, but... Oh, yeah, we forgot to put the primer. Start with this first, guys. It's fine. I just remembered. Like, it just crossed my mind. But we're doing great already. I already feel more beautiful. That's one thing. My skin's you really red. Like, I have a really, like, red... I'm a cool tone, but I have, like, red in my skin. That mm -hmm. makes no sense. Um, so I love how this foundation cancels out, like, the redness. Um... If that makes sense. And it yeah. really reduces shine really well. We have the same skin. Because seriously, <laughs> that's how mine is. I'm like, I don't have warm, like, my tone is not warm, but my, I get red really easily. Yeah. So I'm a warm number two as well. And mm -hmm. so I feel like that has helped me uh, kind of tone down the, the pinkness. The pinkness. Yeah. And then I put blush on before I got here and dark lighting. And so there it is. <laughs> but blush is life. No, so. I already feel not as pink. All right, so we're gonna kind of do a smoky eye, because I've had a lot of people ask me how to do a smoky eye, so we're just gonna go for it. We're just gonna go for we're it. We're doing it. And so what you start with is, um, I'm gonna start with this one. This is the Best Kept Secret. I'm gonna do it as her can base. Can we try to show them the color? I don't yes. know if we can. There we go. It's a really, it's neutral. Yeah. It's basically, it's oh, a beige. Oh, too. How can I show both at the same time? You're doing time? a really good job right now. <laughs> um, if people don't realize, we're we're going live from two different platforms right now. We're on yes. Facebook and Instagram because we're baller like that. Why not try it all? 
<laughs> we just, you know, work harder, not, or work smarter, not work harder. Work smarter, not harder. <laughs> Um, yeah. So yeah, the best kept secret, I, I remember it by the fact that it's called best kept secret. Mm -hmm. So you can use it as a concealer or as a base as you're about to do. Yeah, so close your eyes for me. It's going to keep all your secrets hidden. <laughs> I don't know. That was a good one. I don't know. When, she, when Melissa Popping named it, I don't know what she really had in mind. What she was thinking. Yeah. So same goes with bristles for brushes for your eyeshadow. Um, the longer bristles are going to kind of disperse a little bit more pigment and then the shorter bristles are going to give you more compact color. So um, you'll get more pigment with the shorter bristles. Right now I'm just, I'm just adding, you know, her base. So we don't really need a lot. I'm all about that base. No trouble. <laughs> I won't really see Why don't we have music well. happening right now? I know we should. <laughs> Um, I don't know how to do that at the same time. I don't okay. Know. Do you want to do... We'll do the purple. Purple! Let's see which one. What is it called? I can't remember. And I did this before. Do you want me to read it? Yeah. Okay. Um, it is diffused. It is a matte one. I don't want to let go because I'm scared. <laughs> look how the pretty that is! Yeah, don't look at my nails because they're still I know. halfway red. Um, Christmas. <laughs> So, um, it's diffused matte, so there are some shadows that have the word mm -hmm. matte at the end. Um, I still think it has a little bit of a shimmer in it, um, but, go ahead, you were going to say something, I can tell. Oh, it reminded me of the, the whole, with aging skin, you don't want to use as much shimmery products with aging skin because it will settle in your more mature skin, we'll just say that. <laughs> AKA, it might settle in the wrinkles. So, um, so the best thing, I mean, you know, if you want some shimmer, add some shimmer. But I wouldn't go overboard to right. where you're kind of glowing. Um, and that's kind of, I mean, if shimmer is your thing, go for it. But there's ways to do it where it's tasteful. And there's ways to do it to where you don't feel like you're super mm -hmm. shiny all over. So mix and match. Do a little shimmer. Do a little bit of matte makeup. So I am using... This brush, it's not a, it's not savvy, but I want to kind of show you. Hold on, I'll do the. You're doing this great. is the bristle, and I'm doing a shorter bristle because I'm doing a darker um, color in the crease of her eye. And so, what you want to do too is you want to kind of feel where your brow bone is, and you don't want to go above the brow bone because then you'll have dark like all the way up to your eyebrows, and that's not pretty. <laughs> So just kind of go right below it, and you want to follow the shape of your eye. You don't really want to make your eye do some, like the shadow do something um, that it shouldn't do, like go in another direction that your <laughs> eye is not going. So, all right, turn towards me. Mm, hopefully, my elbow. I don't know how to do my arm right now. So I'm just kind of, kind of tapping to get the <laughs> stop it. <laughs> no, it's okay. I'm fine. <laughs> I'm fine. I like how a lot of these colors, though, even like even when you blend them together, or um, if you use the misting spray, how it's like they can change. Yeah, they can be either like really deep mm -hmm. or really light, um, which is and they just blend really. And you only need so like so little. Like these are gonna last me forever. Um, so something I'm doing too in the crease is I'm. Kind of swirling in little like little circles uh, and kind of pulling down because I don't I want it to be a diffused look and blended ha it's called diffused did you mean to do that no no <laughs> I love me I love some puns <laughs> it's so funny all right and then don't worry about blending as much at the in the beginning you'll blend more at the end too. don't you like that guys <laughs> it looks real good <laughs> all right turn this way I love it so much. And then also, I don't really go past where like your pupil would be with the darker color. Uh, I just kind of stop in the middle of the eye and then work my way down to the outside corner. Awesome. I'm not done. Okay. <laughs> we gotta make it match. Uh, uh, please do. I mean, we are live and everything. I don't wanna. <laughs> you don't want me to mess up, do you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, and a good makeup remover are the seed length wipes. So that's a good thing to. Yeah, Young Living has a baby line. Oh, look at my eyes. I love that. And um, these are their baby wipes. 
and they smell amazing, but you can take these bad boys and use them as your makeup remover wipes. You can cut them in half and make them last forever. Um, but I'm gonna leave that. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. And I got a little dusting on the underneath of our eyes, so I'm just gonna take a brush and kind of swipe it away. You're so professional. <laughs> what are you doing right now? I'm adding more pigment over here. It gets so quiet. See, she used the word pigment and not the word color. See, I'm learning things already. <laughs> All right. So I may decide to add something else to it here in a minute. I don't know. Please do. Actually, I think I am. So. I am going to use the seedling wipe to wipe off um, the pigment from the eyeshadow. Good from luck, this. the brush needs to be clean. Um, I, so I want to show now. you, I'm going to show you guys one camera at a time. So this is what we're working with here. We have like, look at all of this makeup. I love how fun it is. Like I use this every day. Like this is a simple, like, I mean, five minute face that you can do or you can play Hi guys over here on Instagram or you can play with um, it like we're doing and have way too much fun mm -hmm. so hopefully there's... that sets up okay it doesn't fall <laughs> ta-da yay okay and okay. then I'm adding What's next? because I want to add more depth to it to give you more of okay. that smoky okay this is the color determined and it has a little shimmer in it because why not that shimmer show you guys <sighs> yeah because why not right Beautiful we're smoky live eyes. And we might as well. Might as well. Might as well. So I'm just gonna go right below it, um, below the purple that I did. The um, what did I call? It? What was it? Diffused. Diffused. Because I said diffused. All right, turn this way though. Okay. I feel like we need to go out now that my makeup's gonna be all done. I know. I do have sweatpants on right now, so I'm like party over here. <laughs> party up front and total chill down below. <laughs> Yep. Mm -hmm. That is happening. Just yeah. going. Keep going. <laughs> That's amazing. Oh, and I'll drop some, drop some makeup on your cheekbone. Way to go, Brit. But I got my handy dandy brush to swipe it away. Oh, and I forgot to highlight, too. We'll go back to it. It's fine. <laughs> Alright, so then next, I am going to take the Best Kept Secret again. And I am going to add it more towards the top. So you all, you know, around, if I can use words, um, around her eyebrow to kind of um, smooth that out a little bit and blend it. Blend it. That was the chair, I guess. <laughs> so one thing I was talking with my friend Kate about is she has a 13 year old girl and she's diving into makeup and um, playing and having so much fun. And she's, I mean, she's gorgeous. Oh my gosh, I wish I looked like that when I was 13. But anyways, uh, I was talking to Kate though about how she's gonna start getting savvy for her because she's not been buying her savvy and the makeup she's been using has just been like breaking out her young teenage skin and um, we don't, you know, you never know what's in it. And she's just like, I've just gotta go with savvy because one, you don't want her dealing with those just terrible breakouts and things, mm -hmm. but it's like, that's your, you know, your child. It's like, what are you putting on them that's causing those kinds of things? So, um, that's what's awesome is like when your own, you know, whether it's your daughters or your friends, like they can use this and you know, it's not poisoning them. <laughs> you don't want it to poison them. You don't want it to poison them. Yeah. So, um, and that's one thing that I just love. Like I can share something that I use every day with people and it's good for them. Not gonna, not gonna do anything damaging. What is that one? That is residual. All right, so another trick that you can do is if you feel a little tired, if you feel, oh yeah, um, and you feel like your eyes seem a little heavy a little and dark, shimmer. I'm just gonna add it to the inside corner, a little dot on the inside corner of her eye, just to kind of open the eye. Um, Mm, open my eyes. Mm -hmm. And it, again, it does have a little shimmer, but there's ways to do it without overdoing it. Sorry, I can't see you. No, it's okay. Lefty problems. 
Perfect. That's it. That's all I'm doing. That's all she's doing. I mean, I'm doing more makeup, but... Yeah. What if I can show you how the shimmer of it? I don't think it'll mm -hmm. focus, but... Ta-da! dun dun dun, dun. <laughs> All right, so I forgot. Well, let me finish the eyes. I'm all over the place. Are you going to give me a liner? I'm going to give her a liner with Jet, Jet Setter. And so it is a powder. Um, and I honestly think that this whole thing, if you use it just for a liner, it will last you probably like a year, yeah. if not more. But It's so pigmented. I mean, you only need a tiny bit. And you This is the, the brush. You want an angled brush when you're applying uh, liner. And all I'm going to do is I'm just going to actually, do you want to get I'm gonna it spray it with the misting spray. And then I'm just gonna kinda do that, tap it a little bit on both sides. Hey, Sloan. And then, I saw something. okay. I need you to, I can't use words. <laughs> I need you to do, do things. I need you to do things for me, please. Yeah, so you can do like your cat eye look or your wet look or um, even like if you use it without the misting spray, then it's like not as dark black. Um, so you could wear it not necessarily like with an evening eye because I wear eyeliner like all day every day. Um, that's, that's just how I do things. Um, so again, eyeliner is one of those things that is full of a lot of toxic junk. It's very hard to find. Um, an eyeliner that's actually like that you can play with and control that's toxin free um, so that's why we love the jet setter we were really excited when it came out do you want me to show them yet? Uh, no. yeah, no, I'm not done. <laughs> she's getting serious y'all I'm giving you a little bit of a cat eye because because why not? why not? that's my that's phrase my of the night yeah because why not? So you can make your own version of the misting spray. Um, a lot of people do that for cost effectiveness. Um, the misting spray is only $15, so to me, I'm not about to like try to make my own when this works so well. Um, and it's doing wonders for my skin. Sorry, I don't wanna, <laughs> I don't wanna mess you up. I notice when I put ma or any makeup on anyone, I like hold my breath while That's I do it. That's fantastic. Because I, I know. I'm not going to pass out, I promise. <laughs> Do you have any tips for eyeliner? Follow your eye. I mean, it's really all about enhancing your natural beauty anyway. So, uh, don't... Don't try too hard with it. I mean, I, I know that sounds so simple. I'll close your eyes again. Um. And just play with it, you know, just layer it on and see how you want to really do it. I don't know if that makes much sense, but... So many people are intimidated by eyeliner. Mm -hmm. not gonna just play with... yeah. Da -da -da -da. Ooh, yeah. I like it. Oh, I see the cat eye now. We'll take pictures too, so that you can study it. And I feel so this. pretty, and look at the shimmery that you put in my eye. I like yeah, it. Yeah, it brightens up. So the and I personally don't put a lot of um, eyeliner at the bottom. Yeah. I like my eyes to be open, and I don't really like them to look closed. So I the dark the darker it is around your eye, the closed off more closed off it'll it'll be. And so a tip for mascara is if you want a really nice luxurious big lash. I just kind of wiggle it at the root of the eye and then have them slowly blink and I'll pull up too. And so that way you're getting the full lash and extending it as much as possible. All right, so just look straight ahead and then blink slowly. Oh, sorry. And then I don't put mascara on the bottom either. I just kind of let whatever I put on the top and it falls. Are you doing okay? Mm -hmm. I'm just trying really hard not to ruin that. It's you can't. I can't like talk or breathe while you're doing that. But we're it's both fine. gonna pass out. Neither of us are breathing. <laughs> no, it's fine. I'm just trying not to like blink or whatever. Da -da -da. Blink. So we do have mascara, but 
Um, it was released for half a hot second, um, but Young Living um, wasn't really happy with the batch. And so they took it off the shelves. And um, my eyes are drying out too for you. <laughs> so they took um, our Savvy mascara off the shelves and are reformulating it. Um, so when it's released, I have a feeling it's going to be the best. Um, so really excited when that happens. I think it will be soon. Um, that's the only thing we're waiting on. But I love that about Young Living. It's like their standards are so high that they're not going to just be okay if, you know, there's some complaints here or there or if it's not the best. They're like, nope, you just don't get mascara because we're not going to sell it if it's not um, its best quality. Next, I'm hearing you, Okay, but I'm going next. Please do. <laughs> next is all-purpose, um, I almost said all-purpose spray. <laughs> Themes Mul all-purpose cleaner. Multi <laughs> multitasker. It's the multitasker. It's a deep brown. It's a beautiful color. Um, and it's funny because this really works for so many people. It just depends on how thick you put it on. Are you doing a brow right now? Yes, so I'm going to do it as a brow. You can use it as a, um, a crease, like for the crease shadow or the your... Why am I mixing up my words? But you can use it in the crease for your shadow on your eye. Mm -hmm. You can use it for your brows. And I'm going to use it on the brows. And it is so important, which I forgot to spray, but it is so important, uh, I think, to do your brows. It kind of brings everything together mm -hmm. and makes your eyes pop that much more. Oh, they don't need to see me. <laughs> All right, so for your brows, I kind of start on the inside corner. And then work my way up. And you just kind of want to um, go with the way the hair is growing. So go up and then you're going to kind of come back down. Um, and you can create the shape too. And then I'll just come back over here. Yeah, I love the, the thick, bold brow. I do see people get a little carried away with it. Um, per usual, that's what happens. But um, I've been wearing Multitasker to... Um, to do my brows because one I just think it's really fun but it still gives it a natural look um, and I'm like hey I have it it's fun why not use it you know what I'm saying because why not <laughs> that's our tagline for the night it's amazing not new year new you yeah I why know. not I just redo redo it now I will say I know in the beginning of this class we talked a lot about toxins and um, what they do to our body and why we want to get rid of them. I want them to see the difference between a brow done Ooh. and a brow not done. Da -da. Get closer so they can see. I might have to dust a little makeup off of you. That's so crazy. Oh my gosh. I love Seriously, it. Seriously, the difference <gasps> is amazing. I love it. New Year, New You! <laughs> Hashtag. <laughs> um... I am going to be hosting a class, another new year, new you class in two weeks. Um, but instead of with Savvy, it's going to be with Thieves. So it's not going to be beauty, it's going to be for the home. Um, and so I'm going to teach you how to um, start the new year without toxins in your home products. Um, so that is going to be fun and I will post an invite later in this group. Um, for that, if you want to attend that one as well, learn all about our Thieves products. Um, yeah, because toxins suck. It can suck it. <laughs> <laughs> but this is way more fun, I'm not going to lie. This is fun. I mean, I love cleaning my house with stuff that like I smells you're gonna good. Leave it there. And, like I love cleaning my house, I'm like, who are you? Like, no, like, I mean, kidding. knowing that like... I'm just kidding. Knowing it smells, it doesn't just smell good, but it's like doing well for my body. Like it's supporting my immune system and not, not yeah. giving me carcin carcinogens. You know what I'm saying? I do. But Savvy's way more fun. And you get your makeup done. I'm all about it. I'm going to, I want to go somewhere. I'm going to, I'm going to take all the selfies. <laughs> With or without the filters? Without. 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 Okay. You don't need filters. Look at that. Brows are done. How do you get... Uh, How do we get a personal makeup consultation? <laughs> Allison <question>. wants to know. 
you got to come to our savvy classes. Uh, it says it's counting you down on Instagram. Oh, that means they're cutting me off, guys. I'm sorry. Instagram but I says be, too long. Yeah. So I will be doing... We can hop back on and show you the end of my face. Yeah. We'll uh, just hop back on and take a picture and that is that. So <laughs> bye, you guys, from Instagram. Sorry you can't see the rest. <laughs> hop on to Facebook. <laughs> amazing. I know. Okay. All right. So we're going to highlight her because I forgot to highlight her. Highlight me. I also need blush. I know. All right. Look at you, girl. Honey. All right. So this is the diamond, diamond dust right here. Veil dust. And I put way too much on it. Oh my gosh. Just tap it. So this is their veil Swirling and it is, tap. it's very shimmery guys. It is, it's just, it just is what it is. Um, a little goes a long way. Mm-hmm. But it's a great highlighter. So highlighting, what you're gonna do is where, it's typically where the sun hits is where you're going to highlight. Um, so cheekbones right here. And I'm really not gonna do a whole lot because I don't wanna make Tabitha shimmy. Shimmy? Sh or, <laughs> shimmy for Shimmy me. or shimmery. <laughs> <laughs> um, we're just gonna leave it there. So we're just gonna do that, but you can do it on the nose if you wanted to, um, or on the chin if you felt like you didn't have much of a prominent chin and you wanted it to bring it out more, then add a highlight um, to it. And then, uh, so what we're just doing is her cheekbones and then contouring, but I'm not gonna contour her. Um, you would do it right there. Um, it's in between your cheekbone and your jawbone. And you just take a darker color and kind of dab, 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 tap, whatever. Dab, dab, <laughs> dab through here. Um, and then that's a good place to contour. Some people do it uh, right through here if mm -hmm. they want to add more shape. And then also down through here underneath your jaw to kind of give yourself a little bit more of a jaw. Yeah, line. I just think that makes it look like my makeup doesn't match. I'm well, it depends on the, it's because you need the right color. Um, <laughs> it's, it's the right color. So it would probably for you be more of a foundation mm -hmm. rather than a bronzer. Yeah. Um, that would just be, and then you would blend it. And then if you, you could then put more foundation over top of it. So that you don't have the two We do tones. have two really beautiful bronzers. Um, I don't really wear bronzer much, so I don't have them. Um, but we, they exist if, if you're a bronzer gal. And then we're gonna do Passionate. I love this color. Oh my gosh. So Passionate, when you look at it on like the chart or online, it's the darkest blush we have. Um, and so it's actually kind of intimidating in the fact that um, people think it's like really rougey, but I wear it every day and no one tells me I look like I have too much rouge on. Mm -hmm. it, I like that. Rouge. Rouge. I don't it, have too much rouge on. It goes on really, um, really well. Go ahead. So where you want to place it is, it's called the apple of your cheeks, which is right here. Right there. I need, and if you're at home, you can, you know, smile and do it, but you don't have to. I mean, you can if you want. <laughs> smile all you want to. <laughs> Okay, turn this way. And some people with blush, they go all the way up here. It's not meant to go up there. Don't do it. It's only supposed to go on the apple of your cheek. So just make sure you put it there. <laughs> Don't go up there. So why do people go up their cheekbones? Is that why they think? Because they think their cheekbones go all the way. Well, people are always trying to constantly make themselves look younger, lift their face up. So they probably are wanting that, you know, that mm -hmm. little look. And say you feel like you got too much blush on or you feel like because the lighting in here and the shadowing is a little different, you can just kind of play around with it. And then you can also always take, you know, I'm going to put the veil on you. Where did the, your foundation brush and just, there's a little foundation left over on it and you can kind of, kind of tap it a little bit to kind of make it a little bit more subtle. Look there's, at that. Woohoo! We should have done a before picture. I know, right? And we didn't. Guys, we... We still have lips. One more thing. We have lips. Do you, What do you want to do? Okay, let's show them some of our options. Okay. So here's the lip gloss. Guys, this lip gloss, I'm going to tell you a little bit about it. And then we'll, we'll go on. Um, so it adds shine. It has peppermint essential oil in it to help... Give you, give you some more fullness. Um, pump, pump it up. Um, it is not tested on animals either. Has all natural ingredients. Um, can be sheer or 
like give you um, more medium coverage depending on your application. Um, yeah, so that's that. And then the lip gloss, that's lip gloss. The lipsticks, we have five lipsticks. Ooh, I love this one. How about we just do that? That's one, one of my favorites. It's like a deep that plum. reaction. That reaction. But we just want to show you guys some of these. Pretty colors. A lot of people will like do a lipstick and then add shine with um, the lip gloss, that kind of thing. I never really wear lip gloss, so. I'm not more, I'm more of a lipstick person. And I like them to be a little bit more So matte. which one this is? One's, why can I not read? It is Uptown Girl. Uptown Girl. She's been, and then I won't butcher this up. Is this a newer one, or I accidentally got it on your tooth? It's okay. I'm used to putting lipstick on with, like, on other people with a brush, and not the actual lipstick. <laughs> you do need to go out. <laughs> do you have thoughts, Justin? Oh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> It's usually on my teeth. teeth. Stop laughing. <laughs> <laughs> you can close your mouth. You know. There we go. Beautiful. You're all done. Woo! No, I like it. Yeah, it looks good. Is that my teeth? <laughs> it is, but it's not my nose. <laughs> no, that's actually. It's like way more subtle than mm -hmm. it feels. Mm -mm. It's really like. Chapsticky, like it is smooth and like sub, sub, subtle, subtle, subtle. How do you say that word? I don't know. Okay, cool. I'm sorry. I'm trying to think. I'm like, I can't think yeah, of it. I really like it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, so that's that's like the deepest color I think that we have right now. Yes. Um, we do have. We don't have the other colors here, but there's a, um, a lip gloss color called Maven that was just released. Mm -hmm. It is a beautiful color. Like I would suggest like a summer color. Um, it's a beautiful like pink mm -hmm. kind of color. I'm probably gonna get that one for the summer, but this one's fun. Yeah, it looks so good. I love it, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. I'm gonna have to take some cool selfies. I don't know why I opened my mouth when I did that. Oh my gosh, looks so good. Thanks, Al. She did an awesome job. Now, I definitely would probably wear this like on a date night, but when we were talking about what makeup to do, I was like, let's show them what you can do mm -hmm. with Savvy. So, because some people who like love makeup, like they want to be able to play with it. And, they like, want to go the extra mile. They want to do, I mean, I know working in the salon, I would wear a deep red lipstick just during the day because that's where I was every day. And so you can get really nice tones yeah. with savvy too so you can get date nights you can get you know all of that so you know yeah we have our everyday looks and those are fun too um we we posted um both before and afters mm -hmm. on this facebook um wall of our day looks yeah we did. so you can see what it mm -hmm. looks like just with like a five minute face um so on an average let's see every day i use foundation with the misting spray the blush and then I do an eyeliner and maybe like the best kept secret. Mm -hmm. And then that's about it. That's kind of what I do too. If I'm going out, I'll do a brow and I'll add probably. Actually, I do brows every day. You I do brows every day? I do brows every day. I can't. That's the only thing is I have to have my brows because I feel naked without them. <laughs> but it's very easy to do. Like mm -hmm. um, I wasn't as intimidated by them um, once I got my savvy line. Mm -hmm. So a um, little recap, guys. Sorry, this smells smells so good. I love this baby wipe. Um, it does. It's just sitting under mm -hmm. me, like, smelling amazing. Um, so when Cheers. you get your Savvy, they s package them in these beautiful little boxes. And um, what I love is, as a Young Living member, um, I'm a part of our Central Rewards Program. And means That's I... That's the best kept secret. That is the best kept secret. <laughs> um, you might... This get, is not, but that... I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, and I can order all my Savvy on my Central Rewards order. And I'm now earning 25% back on every single order. So not only is it being shipped to my door, but I'm earning points back that I can use to buy oils or Thieves products or anything else. And I've been on it for eight months, I think, and I'm earning now 20% back. And honestly, I wish I would have done it sooner and I wish I would have listened to you, Tabitha, <laughs> because I could have had so much more product at home for free and I 
didn't, so, but better late than never. Better so. late than never. So if you're yeah. already a Young Living member, you need to be on Essential Rewards, mm -hmm. and you've gotta add your savvy next. Um, so we will post um, a photo of me, and I'll type out everything that I use, or Brittany used, um, on me tonight, um, and that kind of thing. So if you have any questions, keep them coming. Yes. Um, we can help you. Um, don't be afraid to try it, though. Like, it's just worth it. Um, if you're not a, sa a young, savvy member, oh my gosh, if you're not, tied tonight. <laughs> if you're not a Young Living member, um, contact whoever invited you, whether it was me or Brittany or somebody else, and um, say, hey, I want to get some and if you're wanting to try just like a foundation or a lip gloss, um, we are going to, I maybe let's just say for the rest of the month. Yeah. Um, we're going to open up our own accounts to you. So we are going to let you add on to our order if you just want to order one or two things just to try. Um, but if you are like, no, I need like the lineup, we can help you get started with this beautiful thing. So for $1.55 guys you can become a young living member meaning mm -hmm. that you can have that essential rewards program earn points back save money on things like your cleanser and that kind of thing 24 percent wholesale on all young living products yes um you i don't know why i clapped <laughs> yay. yay so you get your membership you choose a foundation a blush an eyeshadow and a lipstick um, and then if you want, you can add more products. Um, if you want to add all of them, you can. Um, so we can help you do that too. So let us know if you have any questions or if you want to get your hands on them yourself. We're here, right. we're here to break the barriers and help you find your new you. New you? New you. Look at me. I'm a whole new me. You are. <laughs> You're a new you. <laughs> all all right. right. Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye.